Frederick Douglass is among the most recognizable names in the abolitionist movement. It is less well known that he was also a staunch and vocal supporter of women's equality and the suffrage movement. At the Seneca Falls Convention, Douglas played a pivotal role in the passage of the Declaration of Sentiments, stating that he could never support extending the franchise unless it was extended to everyone, women and people of color alike. Douglas's Rochester-based newspaper, The North Star, published a widely read editorial in the wake of the Seneca Falls Convention, voicing his support for the cause. In fact, the motto of The North Star was, right is of no sex, truth is of no color, God is the father of us all, and we are all brethren. In the years prior to the Civil War, Douglas maintained a close friendship with Susan B. Anthony, even delivering the eulogy for Anthony's father, Daniel, at his funeral in 1862. That relationship became strained, however, in the years following the war, and the passage of the 14th Amendment extending citizenship and equal protection to freed slaves, and the 15th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution. Douglas supported both. Susan B. Anthony and Elizabeth Cady Stanton refused to support the 15th Amendment as it extended the franchise to African Americans, but not to women. Douglas's position was nuanced, that extending the franchise to former slaves was a basic first step and that women of color would be able to exert their opinions in the same way that white women had, by influencing their brothers and husbands until they too would gain the right to vote. Although his position on the 15th Amendment created a rift between Douglas, Anthony, and Stanton that was never healed, Douglas never stopped supporting the suffrage movement. The last public appearance made by Douglas on the day of his death in 1895 was to attend a meeting of the National Council of Women in Washington, D.C., where he was given a standing ovation.